try this one because I have something to do with his reaction to Emma Kins, the president. Now, I have known a bit about the US and I've watched a lot of presidency videos and I want to see if they're going to do this correctly. I've actually only seen this film a few times and a long time ago. So let's see if they'll do it this correctly. Uh, to my opinion. This is not meant to offend anybody. I'm not from the US. I've never been to the US. I've only... My friend has been to the US, a few of mine, but that's about it. Hi-ho! Do you know the names of the US residents who then became the presidents and got a view from the White House? Wait. First of all, to what I know, not all presidents lived in the White House. I mean, George Washington did saw its construction, but John Adams was the first to officially move in, and it wasn't completed at that time. That's what I know about it. And was it says in, Pils in Pennsylvania? Isn't it in Washington, D.C.? Correct me if I'm wrong, because I think it's in Washington, D.C. Through a Pennsylvania Avenue George Washington was the first you see, he once chopped down a cherry tree. I don't know if that's true, because nobody has even said that happened. President number two would be John Adams, and then number three. Tom Jefferson stayed up to write a declaration late at night, so he and his wife had a great big fight, and she made him sleep on the couch all night. That's probably not true, because the Declaration of Independence was written by John Adams, not in his house, but... I don't know where it was written. I, it was not written in his house. That's all I know. And I think. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. James Madison never had a son, and he fought for all of the... Wait, what is there? Oh, yeah. wait, wait, no. Well, James Monroe's colossal nose was bigger than Pinocchio. John Quincy Adams was number six, and it's Andrew Jackson's but he kicks, so Jackson learns to play politics next time. He's the one that the country picks. Well, I know that's not how quite it happened, but it's a little bit more complicated than that, so I'm not going to say it. Martin Van Buren, number eight, for a one-term shot as chief of state. William Harrison, how do you praise that guy was dead in 30 days? That thing is, well, he only lasted 30 days of his presidency. Or he lived 30 days. John Tyler, he liked country folk. And after him came president folk. Zachary Taylor liked to smoke. His breath killed friends whenever he spoke. 1850, really nifty Miller Fillmore's in. Miller Fillmore's in, I know, is one of the worst presidents in U.S. history. I don't know why Wacko, I think he was called, would describe him as nifty. In. Young and fierce was Franklin Pierce, the man without a chin. Follows next up, period spanning. Four long years with James Buchanan, then the South start shooting. Oh no, don't talk about that. Don't talk about the CFA. No, CSA. CSA. And we got a civil war. A war, a war that's how the Dixie. That was. That was not. Yes, that was the official flag of the Confederacy, but they have more flags than that. I think they have like three flag designs. <laughs> Here comes Lincoln. Up to bat comes old Abe Lincoln. There's a guy who's really th What I- there was one fun fact. Abraham Lincoln was actually an honorary citizen of the Republic of San Marino. Because republics to get her strong, according to San Marino. But I don't think he ever visited San Marino. I don't even know if he ever exited the U.S. Lincoln kept the United States from shrinking, save the ship of state from- if this is meant to represent states, then it would be wrong, because to what I know, the Confederacy only held around 12 to 11 states or something like that, while we only hold like 15 or more, so I don't know. Sinking. Country now elects Ulysses Simpson Grant. The Simpson Ulysses S. Grant did not stand for anything. In fact, it didn't stand for Simpson, it just put it there to sound more, I don't know what. Also, his birth name was Hiram, not... Ulysses. Who would scream and rave and rant? While drinking whiskey, all oh, the risky cause he's failed on his path. True. I heard about, I think it was the siege of, uh, uh, Pittsburgh, or, no, not Gettysburg. What was that called on, uh, the Mississippi River? The siege of the Mississippi River. That town, if it fell, it would, uh, split into, how was it called? Vicksburg, Vicksburg. And, uh, he would drink when and when the battle was won, he would drink whiskey in Vicksburg, Pennsylvania, in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think Vicksburg was called the city. I'm not sure. It's 1877, and the Democrats would. Uh, one year after 1877, Bulgaria was liberated from Turkey.
Gloat, but they're all amazed when Rutherford Hayes wins by just one vote. Actually, he did not win by, like, not seven people voted. Jamie, I think he won with, uh... Democrats would gloat, but they're, they're all amazed when Rutherford Hayes wins by just... I think he won with eight more votes, I'm not sure. The one I know, 165 to 168 or something like that, were, like, the election results of that year. That's what I know, that's what I remember. Just one vote. James Garfield, someone really hated cause he was assassinated. I don't know about this guy. Esther Arthur gets instated, four years later he was traded. For Grover Cleveland, really fat, elected twice as a Democrat. Then Benjamin Harrison, after that, is William McKinley up the bat. Teddy Roosevelt charged up San Juan Hill, and President Taft, he got the bill. In 1913, Woodrow Wilson takes us into World War I. 1913 was, first of all, 1913 was one year before World War I started, World War I started. and second of all, the United States did not even join World War I until 1917, and their troops officially arrived in 1918. The United States did not, pay, did not take part in the Battle of Gallipoli, that was only for Britain, Italy, and Turkey, that part that took part in near some islands in Turkey, in the Ottoman Empire. Before the Battle of Wait, I think they were in Aragon, but I'm not sure. The Battle of the Somme was fought somewhere in France between France and Germany, not by not with the US. All the battles of Verdun. The Battle of Verdun was the bloodiest French battle between Germany and, and uh, France in that those days. I think it's the bloodiest, but I'm not. Sure. It is very bloody. Like the French defended it fiercely. They would not let Verdun fall into German hands. Warren Harding next in line. It's Calvin Coolidge, he does fine. And then in 1929, the market crashes and we. D didn't the market crash or like the Great Depression happen in 1923? Or was that when Germany started printing money? I think I'm mistaken the two days, but correct me, I think that's the year. Bye. It's Herbert Hoover's big debut, he gets the blame and loses to Franklin Roosevelt, president who helped us win in World War II. If he's gonna play it like that, that means he is dropping Hitler on top of Jap Japan, and those two were allies. Also, Hitler surrendered before Japan, because the allies pretty much, no, the Soviets captured Berlin, and then, after the Japanese didn't surrender, the U.S. sent two nuclear bombs on top of Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Harry Truman, weird little human, serves two terms and when he's done. It's Eisenhower who's got the power from 53 to 61. John Kennedy had Camelot, then Lyndon Johnson took his spot. Richard Nixon, he, he gets caught and Gerald Ford fell down a lot. That only happened once, not two times. I don't know. Jimmy Carter, like Cam- Just like what happened with Joe Biden, but he fell two times. Bing trips. And Ronald Reagan's speeches scripts all came from famous movie- King. Not the best way from explaining how that um, Ronald Reagan was actor. Also, Ronald Reagan had not been in any films for more than t for nearly 20 years by the time of his presidency. That's what I know. Lips and President Bush said, "Read my lips." Now in Washington D.C., that's Democrats and the GOP. First they said that the White House was in Pennsylvania, and now they're saying it's in Washington D.C. I'm confused. But the ones in charge are plain to see: the Clintons, Bill and Hillary. The next president to lead the way Well, it just might be yourself one day Then the press will distort everything you say So jump in your plane and fly away Ever since this song, I know that there have been four presidents George Bush, who they mentioned, which means the next becomes Barack Obama And after him is Donald Trump, and now is Joe Biden well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Correct me if I'm wrong because uh, I am not a U.S. citizen. I have nothing to do with the U.S. Thanks for watching.